It was three years ago an army of migrants marched across Europe demanding entry. Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, let them all in and changed Europe forever. The open border policy over there has now been shredded. Something similar is taking place on our southern border, a rush to get in. But in America, there's a president determined to enforce the no-entry laws. At the moment, the debate centers on the separation of families. The sensational headlines, the media concentrates on the children. Pounds the president and Trump gets the blame. That's the reality today. But America is faced with a humanitarian issue. How do we deal decently with this latest rush to get across the border? Now, look, in the short term, the separation of families will be dealt with one way or another. But the separation issue actually makes the president's point. The root cause of the problem is the open border. As long as it is easy to get across, and as long as the Democrats welcome illegals with open arms, they will come. Think about it. If you make it across the border, you're home free. Who wouldn't head north? The president's answer is build a wall, deter illegal entry with strict border enforcement. The Democrats want neither. They won't say it, but they're sticking with open borders, so long as it works in their political interest. Back to Europe. Since the migrant army arrived, sentiment has done a 180. Populist, anti-immigrant politicians are attracting widespread support. And in Germany, Angela Merkel is fighting for her political life. She may be out this week, done in by her open border policy. What happens here? If the Democrats stop the wall and keep the migrant surge going, do they win politically? Or if the wall is built, And if the migrant surge is halted, does President Trump eventually win? My opinion? Build the wall. Deter illegal border crossings and the president wins because he's the only one with a workable solution to the generation-long migrant mess. That's my opinion.